Around 80% of tilapia and milkfish supply for Metro Manila comes from Laguna Lake, according to the Laguna Lake Development Authority or LLDA. Engineer June Paul Mistica, Department Manager 3, stated that fish ponds and fish cages occupy 10% of the lake's 90,000 hectare area. The official warns that if the dry weather is worsened by El Nino, fish kill incidents may occur due to the proliferation of blue-green algae caused by insufficient oxygen levels. Nagkakaroon ng fish kill kasi ang nagdidepend sa oxygen ay yung isda rin at saka itong uh, pagkabulok ng blue-green algae. So yun ang isang malaking threat. The Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources or BIFAR mentioned that they will continue to coordinate with fish pond owners to prevent fish kill. So, huwag po tayo mag-overstocking kasi uh, nandiyan na nga, may pinapagamba na tayong uh, pagtas ng temperatura, may alcohol plume, tapos yung paghuhulog pa natin ng simidya sa ating mga fish cages at fish ponds ay sobra-sobra, mas mag-resulta mag ito doon sa pag-aggravate ng situation at uh, posible na magkaroon ng fish mortality. If the fish supply from Laguna Lakes is affected, BFAR can source it from Taal Lake and farms in northern and central Luzon. LLDA noted that fish kill usually occurs in the western section of the lake and they plan to deploy solar paddles to prevent algae formation. Additionally, algal bloom may also impact the production of domestic water for Metro Manila, but measures have been implemented by Maynilad to prevent it. The Putatan treatment plant supplies water to the southern portion of Metro Manila and parts of Cavite. Uh, some of these include yung ating pag-install ng ilang units kasi sa ultrasonics, algae control equipment, sa iba-ibang bahagi ng Laguna Lake. Ang purpose ng equipment dito ay mamonitor at mamanage yung pagdami ng algae concentrations in portions of Laguna Lake. LLDA assures that even with the presence of El Nino, the water supply from Laguna Lake is still sufficient. The agency has already replanted nearly 400 hectares of its watershed, which can hold 5 billion liters of water. Ray Pelayo, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.